because it has to be connected. Every time I go teach a seminar, show one technique, send the next move, then the next move, everything is connected. This morning, what we did was my partner is on his four, right here. And make sure, if you want to use your body weight, keep your knees behind your hip line. This way, my weight is going forward. And use your toes, your feet on the ground. Because my body is what controls his body, not my hands or my arms. I don't feel comfortable hugging him here. Most of people, they hug and they end up pulling guard. If I'm on top, I want to play on top as long as I want to be on top. I'm hooking his arms like this. And I'm pushing him. Now my goal is I will pick a side and I put my knee in the middle of his side, right here. Okay? And use his thigh as you're going down the hill. Now I'm switching, going this way. I don't want to pass my head to his headline because chances are he's going to roll me. Especially if I have somebody bigger than me. The object of my outside hand is to hold his lapel. I'm opening the collar like this. And the simple fact that I have my knee between his elbow and his knee makes it hard for him to defend. Because now, no matter how much you put the hand there, it's a hole. And I'm feeding my hand over here anytime. You gotta be very careful now. Once I get a hold of that collar, that's very dangerous for him. But I want to make sure that I trap him that he cannot get away from me. That hand going inside allows me to bring many times my heel right here. I'm sitting on the ground now. To be honest, it doesn't matter to me if he rolls this way or if he rolls back. I want to make sure that my left hand is in front of his shoulder. If he rolls back, it's trapped right here. And I fit my hand. Don't grab the collar. Touch his neck. Then hold the collar. Then from here now, whatever he tries to grab my hand, I stop. His hand stops there. Now he's done. Here we go again. If I don't put any weight, he's going to take me down. Now I'm pushing towards him. The knee slides. I'm literally sitting down. Even if he puts the hand over here, my heel comes in and take it. Now Mark rolls towards that side. That's fine. Same thing, right here. Anytime he tries to grab my hand, I block. Then you have the collar. Many of you can even pass the collar and hold his shoulder, which is even quicker than the collar itself. Now the key thing is this. If I don't put my knee over here, his hands are blocking right there. When I get my knee in, I'm creating that space. Now no matter what he does, so as I get. This way, I can block his hand. I'm sitting on that side to make sure it doesn't roll me. And even if he rolls me, see where my hand is? I can still halfway look, falling, trap his arm. Then hit the collar again. All right, the key thing is to get your knee to make sure his elbow moves forward. Now I can put the hand on my head but the angle of my arm now is not this way, it's out, which makes it very hard for me to protect my arm and my neck. All right? Some of you guys did that in the morning. Let's see if we can match collar belts. No white belt with a white belt. And if you can find somebody your height, that will help a lot. All right? One, two, three. I'm trapping his arm, but instead of rolling, you see he comes facing me. Okay? As soon as I'm doing that, I trap, you see my hand over here? He comes towards me, I sit on the ground, I open my leg. Now, he's in your guard, and you can finish from here. You can do so many options. I can still work on his collar. I mean, my leg can play around with his arm. You can do a lot of things, because you have now your legs surrounding his body. The difference is when I fall back, I open this leg. Then you trap. I can only do that if you try to go circle. Then I sit. Okay? And now my legs this way. You know triangle, you know one bar. I can still work in the call. I cannot have even a kimura on him. I can even choke him this way. He has less one arm to defend. And people don't realize. See his arm over here? He's worried about all of this. I grab his hands. <laughs> Told day. Oh! <laughs> 
part of the game, okay? The difference is he's trying to go around in front of you. Before he reached that far, I sit on his arm. See how I'm sliding back? Now my leg is over him, okay? Sure. See how you do on the, on the bottom? As soon as the guy traps me, I want to go this way. But you just sit back and open your leg. All right? One, two, three. The moment he put the arm on the ground, he's not defending his neck. Hmm. Start walking. Hmm. You understand? When he chased me with that arm, nothing on his neck. Oh, I will get it. Okay? Go deep. But the moment he starts chasing you, look, his arm is nothing around his neck. And that's what I want. As soon as you walk that way, oh, man, I don't have to do anything. Let's go. One, two, three. 